Currently, me with Gwen are right on the borders of Czech Republic and Austria. Hitting the heart of Austrian mountains out on the borders. I just bought a toll ticket, kind of ticket you need to buy if you want to use Austrian roads. It was it's valid for 10 days, 8 euros, and you have to stick it to your windscreen. For Austria, it's always like this place or right under here if it will be stick there it's not valid and police officers can give you penalty even if you have it valid ticket but it's stick to the wrong side of the window it can cause you troubles because that's the rules you have to follow the rules you are not following the rules in the life you will be punished easy done we plan to go as early as 5 a.m. Jacob is not a morning person. The 5 a.m. became how? 7 a.m.? <laughs> and it takes, I think, seven hours for us to arrive to our hotel. So right now we have finished two hours and we still have five hours to travel. <laughs> but it will be very hard for Jacob because he's the only driver here. I really have to entertain that him all the time. Not even well. even quarreling at him so he won't be feel sleepy <laughs> we already managed 200 <laughs> kilometers 450 kilometers left one argument done <laughs> which is part of every vacation there are arguments in yeah but i did it on purpose so you won't feel sleepy mm -hmm. <laughs> so then we got argument Gwen as a woman and what woman do she got silent for one hour and 30 minutes not talking with me so I was very entertained mm -hmm. yeah yeah we still have five hours so we still have five more arguments okay we cannot stand for five more arguments let's go let's go <laughs> we are about 280 kilometers left we are cutting kilometers like a butter with Gwen and right now we stopped right next to the highway to have a short break we prepared sandwiches and Gwen said we have to apply sunscreens mm -hmm. because Koreans do and they look young not working for Europeans very nice thing here in Austria they are providing drinking water for free with this kind of faucet you will never find something like this in Czechia or Slovakia but the other Central European countries are really providing for people nice, I can wash my face here too what? no, I can wash my hands <clears throat> reminder two liters of water a day the amazing thing what i found out is in italy in roma there are also like water fountains all around the city maybe it's also like the other cities in italy so people can keep with their drinking routine with the hydration which is huge problem for the society for example one problem is here half a liter a day is perfectly fine continuing with headaches bad moods and so on while looking at the countryside of austria i'm very amazed it's so beautiful like czech republic is beautiful as well their countryside is so beautiful but I'm sorry to tell you that Austria is more beautiful. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> I like their mountains, even if I haven't been there yet for now. And just looking at it far away, like from afar, I mean, it's so nice. Oh my goodness. Finally, guys, we arrived in our destination. So we decided we are going to the supermarket first 
and get something to drink we've already put our things as well in our airbnb and now we're planning to have the first trip somewhere nearby actually not even in a mood right now kind of tired it was like seven hours of driving with one break but what we decided to head to the supermarket i bought energy drinks which i'm really not fan of i don't drink those like much common but maybe once in a year or actually i don't remember when i drink it last time when people don't drink it often they are not keen on that and it works for them i was running today on one coffee and one energy drink when is enjoying her homemade preps and we are heading somewhere as we all know that austria is well known from its amazing lakes for our first trip we decided we're going to visit just a lake nearby because jacob needs a bath so bad so we are in jagersi i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it properly but that's how Jagersi. What's my concern if people are allowed to swim in that lake? We'll because see. I can see there are people riding a boat, but I cannot see anyone swimming, only a ducks and swans. And that's actually my biggest concern. It's like a sea, sea water. Maybe we can ride a boat? Road. No, we will walk because we spent whole day sitting in the car and I'm not gonna spend the rest of the day sitting on the boat. <laughs> the water from the mountains is coming down to the lake and here it's flowing down there. And where do you think is the water flowing from this baby? Where it will end? To the sea? Oh yeah, to the <laughs> sea. <laughs> I'm not really sure about this, but when there are chicken houses and goose houses, I'm not sure, but this is like a duck house for ducks all around the lake. The owner will put the fee inside and the ducks can have food inside of it. But I'm really not sure, but once I could see something like that and it was like a duck house. We could have a food so we can feed the ducks, baby. Hi! I am a kind of shy person and because of that I cannot see any people swimming and I'm shy to ask someone if it's allowed, I will just not swim here but we found out somewhere there in the valley should be waterfalls so let's get there it is really stunning it's not my first time seeing this. I was in the Austria and Switzerland a couple of times, but only in the winter for skiing. Once you will come in the winter, the whole countryside is covered in snow. It's a different picturesque moment in the winter and in the summer. I'm still kind of cannot decide what's better, if this or winter. Ew. Ew. Oh, they love it. Ew. We hear. just found out Gwen has very unique hearing sense. Saying she can hear the waterfalls, but I cannot hear anything. I can. The only Gwen farting. But... It's somewhere there. I'm gonna follow Filipina, who will navigate me through Austrian Alps. Yeah. <laughs> Here are Gwen's waterfalls. <laughs> Like, I heard it and see, there's something here, right? I can wash my feet here. <gasps> so cold! <laughs> the water is like it's so cold. super cold because it's coming from the mountains where there is, is, where there is still unmelted snow and ice. Jacob has a very crazy idea because this trip is random and after I saw the waterfalls he decided he's going to find the root water area so it's like the waterfalls the bigger the bigger one or the the big 
waterfalls and we checked two hours of walking uphill so we will see this kind of trip we are like dora explorer i'm the dora without the backpack and i have boots with the backpack <laughs> Boots with the backpack. Cuba, I have a question. You know, Austria has a lot of Alps and mountains, forests as well. I'm wondering if there are a lot of bears here as well. He doesn't know. Because in Slovakia, he said there are a lot. So we will see here if we will encounter something. Lots of water. You can swim here, baby. <laughs> Just your head and feet. What we did quite differently this year with Gwen, we did not pick for traveling to the sea, but we picked Austria to visit the mountains. For Gwen, the sea is kind of boring because she's Filipina and I've been visiting the sea many, many times. What's the same thing in comparison with our previous trip to Greece last year? That this is very random. We don't have a plan. We just bought an accommodation yesterday, 12 hours before our trip. And even right now we don't have a plan. Today is like a pilot day, so just some, just some short hiking to the lake. But in the evening we have to make a plan for the another two or three days. What's gonna happen? Hiking or cycling or visiting different kind of lakes. We don't know. That's that amazing thing. When you live like randomly, there are so many surprises yeah. in your life. You never know what you can expect. But I want to visit these two specific places. Alperhoit and Hallstatt. There is one thing thanks to what we don't belong to the hiking community because <coughs> People wearing hiking shoes. I have slippers, but <coughs> my outfit is like fine. But for Gwen, <coughs> but that's what she wanted. But you, we, I did not know we we're going on a hike. I Maybe. thought we were just going to the lake. Yeah, walking to the lake. So just walking to the lake there, it's fine. No, yeah, but we will still. It's continue. crazy, right? Isn't it? People keep looking on Gwen, and soon she will feel come uncomfortable, and she will want to go back. I don't care, they don't know me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there is one thing which all of us has to admit that Gwen is the prettiest hiker here. Well, no one is that pretty like Gwen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the most embarrassed person too. You said you don't care. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Or maybe they're gonna think, oh, maybe she will have pictorial in the lane, so she's wearing like that. Uh, so many people would like bring extra clothes in the back and they would change it next to the lake for pictorial and then changing back. I have the bag there, but I thought you said you're going to swim, so I told you I'm not gonna bring it because. Okay, I learned my lesson. Oh, that's good. One more hour and we will be there. We don't know where but there. I failed because I was thinking we are not allowed to ride here by car because there was a sign like a dead end for cars only walking but now I am surprised with the parking with so many cars and Gwen will kill me for that Why you did not bring your car? I did not know Look, there are so many cars Yeah, but we are better and not lazy We will finish it by <laughs> walking and look, the falls is just on the mountain and we have to climb there, in yeah. the mountain. You person who climbs coconut trees, easy, easy, busy. easy, busy. The road became tough, so I convinced Gwen to change the skirt into my shorts. 
She said it's more comfortable. And 20 more minutes to the lake. So let's see. Like this. We are slowly heading to the half of our way. <laughs> And then going back. We are slowly approaching our end. We started right there where is that lake and maybe two hours from that we are here. Two hours and 30 minutes and I look green. I feel like I'm going to die now because of tiredness. When it's tired, we are still wearing sleepers. Wrong choice. I did not really know it's unexpected that we're going on a hike in this kind of mountain like I saw the highest mountain earlier and I did not know that we're gonna hike on that mountain and now we're here well, and it's, it's wearing this freaking sandals and I did not really expect this if I could wear like walk with my feet I will but there are so many stones which really hurts my feet so bad but we are better than other hikers because we were able to make it in slippers. And people are really looking at me earlier. Oh. It's so much like, oh, why well, she's wearing that. The road became quite calm. When I satisfied with the views. And me as well, actually. But we're still looking for that lake. The lake is nowhere. I'm slowly losing my hope. Ah, Gwen already lost her hope down there. <laughs> Google Maps says last one, last 140 meters. And if the Google Maps is wrong, I guess I will uninstall Google Chrome <laughs> because we are dying. But there is, right here, there is a river which is not that like crazy like waterfall. And it's a sign that there must be something else, some lake or the beginning of the stream. Let's finish this. Czech people never give up, Filipino people never give up. Mm -hmm. No matter conditions, slippers will never stop us. Is it correct? I'm wearing sandals. Oh yeah, so I'm sandal woman and slipper man. So here is a little bench or bridge bridge there is a bridge bridge i i have kind of feeling i have i have feeling in my oh it's here it's here filipino we made it no matter oh Look at that guys, we made it to the top of the mountains and in the top of the mountains we found this crazy lake. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, the waterman is already in the water. Even if it's cold, I can't. <laughs> it's refreshing. It's very nice, I promise. Very beautiful. Ooh. Go to the deeper part. <laughs> it's cold. <Ooh>. My god. <laughs> He's really immortal. <sighs> I think he was the god of the water, Poseidon. Poseidon. <laughs> He's Poseidon. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat something too because I'm hungry. I'm not sure what kind of food Kuba has in his bag. I have there to be I have to be a boy scout. I mean girl scout. I was not trained to be a girl scout. Oh we are done with Gwen for today. Those who are doubting if we can make it, be ashamed because we made it <laughs> with slippers, sandals, 
And this is gonna be the end of the first part of our Austrian road trip. You can expect maybe three or four more videos from the Austria. If you are new to this channel, Jacob, Gwendy, Filipina checking. Welcome to our channel. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And see you again next time. See you.